Okay, there's one more thing I want to go over, and that is how to print a model hollow. So if I want to make this model hollow, it's fairly simple. We're just going to come over to, uh, in the edit menu, if you don't have this open, hit escape, hit edit, hollow, and it's going to automatically calculate the way it thinks you want to hollow out the model based on just uh, normal averages, and two millimeters is pretty common. I typically like to keep it two and a half millimeters. I've just had um, best luck with two and a half to three point five. Click tab, and that's actually about all I do for this. Now, uh, I typically like to actually not only do I want to have them uh, hollow, but I like to have them have no base at um, uh, be cleaved cut uh, down here. And so all I do is I hit accept. The whole thing is hollow, we can't tell that, but if I now make a plain cut, invert this the section that is going to be kept, you can see the inside of the model and where the cut is going to be. So if you want to get specific and you're not sure if you're going, just come through here and just grab that blue arrow and you can go up until you start to see it, it get closed. There, it's starting to close off. So I'm going to back off, go down a little bit, right there. Click Accept, and I now have a hollow model. Ready to print, saving a lot of resin. Um, can be a little bit trickier printing these. Um, if you try to print them on, it, on the base, you actually have, need to add little platforms here. Uh, if you try to print them um, on the base with this, you can do that most of the time, but it can be a little bit uh, funky because you've got areas that are close to the build platform. But that's a whole other discussion. Um, but if you want to know how to hollow out a model, that's one way. One time that could be a problem is how much shorter I had to make it because there was two and a half millimeters of base that I had to cut off. And what if you don't have two and a half millimeters? Right now, if I cut off two and a half millimeters, I'm really close to this canine. Probably okay, but what if I don't like that? Well, while I still have this separate color here, this purple, on this model, instead of clearing the face groups, I can click S to select and double click. It'll only collect, select this face group. I can now use that same extrude button that I did before, or D, and simply extrude it negative 2.5 or any number for that matter and it doesn't know which direction to go yet I'm gonna tell it to go in the y-axis it went in the constant direction because it was the all one um, flat surface and so it just went inside the volume I could have simply said 2.5 and it would have gone straight down that's just the way that what constant means um, but anyway, so now I've got it, I can go ahead and click, and I don't even have to worry about making it flat because the whole surface that was selected was flat, so the offset just keeps it consistent. So now I can go ahead and go to um, select all, click on, or sorry, let's get out of here, click on edit, hollow. It's going to do the same process that we just did on the other one. And I'm going to change this once again to 2.5. Okay, and, and one thing I didn't do before, and I, I made a mistake. Simply tabbing away from this does not make it effective. We need to actually click on the update hollow so it can recalculate because it's not a simple transition for the software. So when you edit that distance, you need to click update hollow. It will redo the hollow and now you can hit accept. Once again, we'll do the plain cut. Slide this down a ways. Once again, I'm going to review it from the bottom so I know when it starts to close off. And honestly, I'm just going to stop there because I know I've got a nice tall model. It's hollowed out, and I'm good to go. Hit accept, and I've got this model and this one. Once you, 
again, you can see that this is two millimeters thick and this is two and a half because I never clipped the update hollow. So just keep that in mind. Not a big deal. It doesn't probably really affect anything here uh, most of the time, but that is something to be uh, mindful of. And I believe that is it.